We do know that uh, a lot happened in China yesterday. That's a major signing of uh, MOUs. There were five of them shown to us, but uh, the minister there, I think British on Foreign Affairs, they tell us there are others that will take place even behind the camera. And uh, our correspondent, Juliana Olainka, is still there. But now, instead of uh, having her, we have uh, an individual from the private sector who has been a part of some of these conversations going on there with President Bola Tinubu and uh, the signing of MOUs with China. Uh, joining us, set up obviously by our correspondent Juliana, uh, we have Joel Ogunshola. He's a founder of Prunage. Uh, joins us from China to tell us how the experience has been like and what we can expect. Good afternoon, uh, Joel Ogunshola. Um, good afternoon. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. So, do share with oh. us uh, how it's been. Uh, normally, you know, when we hear the signing of MOUs, we want to see what comes out of it. So, thankfully, you're not in the public sector, you're in the private sector. So, we know that you, as a businessman, you spent a lot to get there. You want to get something out of it. Share with us the experience and some of the benefits of this MOUs that we hear have been signed. So, I mean, thank you very much. I, from a private sector standpoint, uh, essentially, I think one of the news is the fact that um, as a country, there's been some form of um, upgrade in the relationship between Nigeria and China, and now there's some form of strategic partnership, um, which is how China views Nigeria. Uh, I think that's on one side. Um, today, there was a Nigeria-China business forum session, which ensured that um, primarily they could match make um, Chinese um, businesses with Nigerian business owners, uh, which was really important. Um, so beyond the MOU signing, which is um, which indicates some form of um, interest, um, we're also having on the ground conversations, um, which is very strategic to ensuring that um, we can deliver on value. Um, we all do know that China does have the manufacturing prowess that is needed to move our economy forward across the various sectors. From a technology standpoint, uh, you're looking at um, hardware manufacturing, electronics, and a number of other key things. Um, the conversations around um, electric mobility, you know, CNG, which are some of the key priorities of the government, um, as you know it today. So I'd say that one, um, the government involving private sector on this trip um, is, is quite strategic. Um, it also shows that beyond saying, um, they're also keen to um, enable the sector and, you know, match make um, the businesses to ensure growth ultimately. Yeah, so I, I know one very interesting one that will catch the attention or raise a lot of questions is, have you guys had any conversation about currency swap? That is, is a major one for businesses from the private sector. Um, I would say... Um, I would say not, you know, from a private sector standpoint, you know, I guess that maybe from a government standpoint, you know, there's been multiple bilateral meetings um, within those sessions. There are definitely conversations. And, you know, we do know that there's been some framework, you know, for currency swap at some point. Uh, but that, you know, primarily it's pretty much just around ensuring that, you know, as businesses, we can meet the right partners on the other side. Um, and the conversations around also, there's been also conversations with the Exim Bank, uh, with the Chinese Development Bank, ensuring that also financing, because it's one thing to swap the currency, it's one thing for the financing for the projects you know, to exist. So financing has also been top of um, top of line of conversations around how do you finance these partnerships in a way that ensures win-win, you know, for both sides of the divide. All right, Joel, thank you so much uh, for giving us that update. I know by the end of uh, the meetings, I think they're ending on Friday or so, uh, there'll be more development. Yeah. But thank you for, and wish you the best um, gains from your visits right there. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.